Connecticut Audubon's Dr. Science. Just out here, here having a wonderful walk in the woods. And I was thinking of maybe I could teach you guys how to roll a log today and how, how much fun it is. But there are a couple of things that we need to do in order to do it safely and smartly. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find a log. And it does, you don't want it to be too, too big because you want to be able to roll it over carefully. So because I'm a little bit taller, the log can be maybe as long as I am. But essentially, this is a good size. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to bend down and I'm going to put my hands on like this third and this third and I'm going to roll it gently towards me. Very, very gently because I don't know what's underneath. Oh, oh, this is amazing. So right away, I see a very, very tiny, about this big, redback salamander. So it is the color, actually, it is camouflaging or blending in to these mostly beech leaves from last fall. It is amazing. I'm going to oh, try to gently try pick up this baby. It's very young. And hopefully he will stay. Do you see him? I'll put my hand in the light. Do you see that beautiful red line down the back of the salamander? And I'm gonna call him a he, oh, because I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. And I'm not going to pet him or her because this animal is an amphibian, which means two lives, which usually means water to land. However, in this case, the redback salamander lays its eggs on the land. So the word for that would be terrestrial. The word terra means earth. So this is, this is one of those cases where the amphibian lays its eggs on the land. So I am going to just let him walk on me a little bit and then I'm gonna actually put him back. So I'm gonna put him back on here. So right now, rolling this log, one redback salamander, body covered in mucus or slime that helps protect it so that it can um, stay healthy and safe. We also have right here, I have a stick. Oh, right here, we have a spring peeper. Oh, can you see? Oh, he's right there. So a spring peeper is also an amphibian, but it is a type of frog. This is the little animal that you see or you hear in the early spring going peep, 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 peep in those vernal pools. So we have a little spring peeper. It looks like he's trying to camouflage in there. So that's two species right now that we've seen. Just by rolling this log. Over here, right down here, and I can probably pick up this leaf and show you a little bit better. We have a type of slug. So this is also a land animal, a terrestrial earth animal. That, but it is not, so this is a gastropod. It does not have a shell. So it is similar to the snails that we saw down at the beach um, the last time. And this is also a slow mover, also covered in slime or mucus. Same stuff that's in our nose, you guys. You know, that stuff that's in our nose is to help our lungs from getting dust and germs and things like that into our lungs. So all that mucus, all those kind of boogers in there are really, really important snots. So this guy is a land um, slug. Some people call them banana slugs. Now we have nicknames for all kinds of things. I'm gonna put him here and he was underneath this log. Ooh, we've got some kind of fungus in here that is actually breaking down this log. Do you see how easy it is for me? This is very wet and soft. And if like here, because this is on the outside, it's a little bit harder. I can break it apart. But this part that's down here right in the, on the earth, is much more soft. It's going to break down and eventually make more soil. So this is an entire ecosystem in here that is completely amazing. So if you are to roll a log, remember mammals, roll it back towards you. I'm going to move this one back down very, very gently. And remember, try not to touch the amphibians. You can maybe hold them in the hand or on a leaf. Um, this is nature we want to make sure that we leave things the way that we found them, but we still can kind of explore and look at them. If you have a, a hand lens, you can use this also. And I didn't really have a chance to do that, but um, so get outside, roll a log, 
Make sure you're safe. Keep your labs clean. All right, until I see you next time, mammals. Take care.